mental health struggles can make you feel weak. How can you communicate with your team so they don't think that you're lazy or incapable just because you're being honest about your pain? Yeah. Uh, well, when I saw that question, I just I just wanted to say thank you for sharing this because it, it takes so much courage to be able to reflect and acknowledge that you are struggling. And so I just wanted to you know acknowledge that it, it's it's very brave of you to be able to share because I think a lot of people would feel this way but wouldn't know how to say it. Um, so I think the the first thing I'd say is just um, I'd encourage this person to see their mental health struggles as an opportunity for growth. Um, it, it, you know, we, we often kind of think of ourselves as like, oh, like I'm struggling with this and no one else is, or I'm broken or whatever it is, or I'm normal or whatever it is. But um, it's quite a, usually in a negative light. So I'd try and encourage the person to see like, here's an opportunity for me to try and, and get to know myself and learn about what I need and how can I improve myself. Um, any emotions that you're going through or feeling are um, messages really to try and let you know that something something needs healing inside or there's something important that's happening that that needs to change. Um, and so, like I said, it's an opportunity to learn and grow. Um, I would encourage this person as well to in invest in having, you know, supports, um, maybe a therapist or, or some sort of person that they feel that they can um, share with and who can provide professional support as well. So you don't have to do it alone. So I think that's what I just wanted to sort of say is it's really important that we do our own work sort of on our personal side. Um, and then, you know, with regards to the work environment, it would be wonderful if we could all be transparent with how we're feeling with all the people in our lives. But unfortunately, especially with mental health, but unfortunately not everybody is um, understanding. And so I would be cautious with regards to who you disclose vulnerable information to um, just to, in order to protect yourself, um, you know, like I said, from some people who might not fully understand, it's important to share our vulnerability with people who've earned it. So um, in this situation, you know, if you're struggling at work, share tangible. It's kind of like what Tara was saying in the beginning. Um, I think it's so important that you can share with your manager or, or somebody who you do feel supported by or at least who needs to know in some ways that this you're getting impact, your work is getting impacted by some personal issues, um, share with them and maybe maybe some other people from your team that you feel safe with. But it, I'd encourage you to share that you're struggling with something specific and this is what you're working on to try and work through it. Um, and then the more specific you can be, the more I think people or the manager would be able to help you with that because then you know that they'll know what you are needing or at least you can then say what I'm needing. So try to be specific and actually think, um, I know it's difficult and that's why I think bringing in someone else to help you objectively see what's going on for you. But it kind of, um, I just wanted to say, like in, in any person's life, not just at, in a work situation, if we can try to be a bit more specific about what it is that I'm feeling, what emotion that is that, that I'm feeling, because I find a lot, I meet a lot of people who kind of go like, I'm so anxious. And it's like, okay, but let's, let's unpack it. Like, let's actually look at it. Um, what it, is it that's causing you anxiety? Because the more specific we can be, then the more specific we can be with regards to what strategy you may need in order to try and overcome it but a lot of people are like I'm depressed I'm, I'm stressed I'm anxious and those are quite um, vague you know and general and yes you are absolutely there's no denying that but let's dig deeper you know is it is it what else are you feeling is it um, disappointed you know and if you're like disappointed okay like what is what are you disappointed about but um so that's just like in a general sense. But I think if you can with your work situation, the people in your work, try to be specific about what you're needing from them. Do you need more time to submit a deadline? Do you need, you know, some time away from work because you're struggling and you want to work on yourself during that time? Maybe you need to take some time off work take, or come in a bit later in the morning. Just things like that where you can show that you are um, in touch with, with, and if you're not in touch, because a lot of us aren't, just just try and be on this journey of getting to know who you are, getting to know what it is that you might need. Um, and then if you can provide some actionable um, items that the, that the manager can help implement, I think that would be very helpful. And then they'll, they'll be able to help you more as well, as opposed to if you kind of just say, I'm struggling. Um, and you need to kind of understand or you're not, you know, and then, and then people do, they make judgments or they start stereotyping because they don't have information. Um, 
And like I said, don't disclose everything to everyone. Find a person that you can disclose information to and show a bit more vulnerability, but try and be specific about what it is that you need in order to help you so that they know how to help you. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Sharon. That's really, really helpful. Um, Tara, did you have anything you wanted to add from your own experience, um, maybe having to share things with your team when you... Um, yeah, I, I definitely echo like um, it is disclosure is difficult and people sometimes managers don't know what to do. Um, and it can be a topic that people just don't understand how to handle. Um, I, I want to address like, you know, people's feeling of guilt or feeling of broken health is health. If you have a broken foot or you're feeling down one day, it's all health. And you don't have to over explain. You can say I'm unwell. And it is 2023 health, whether it's mental or physical well-being, whatever it is, you know, that is your health and your ability to, you know, be there and engaged at work and doing your best. And when you're unwell, you've got time and, and space and resources for those things. So um, it's it's funny how we might feel bad or weak or guilty if, if we're having an off day versus if we have a broken finger and can't type. And we we associate different levels of, of, of guilt with that, which we shouldn't at all. Nobody has asked for for a, a condition or a health problem. Um, and mm -hmm. I think also we also get our own head and go, well, I have this thing. But you know what? Everyone's got something. Everyone has something. It could be uh, neurodiversity that impacts their work. It could be something physical. It could be their home circumstances. It could be financial woes. Um, it can be a sleep problem. Everyone's mm -hmm. got something. And so we often think, everyone else is perfect and got their stuff together. And I'm the only one kind of hobbling up to the start line and that's not it. It's just that it's not all open and transparent. So be mm -hmm. kind to yourself, knowing that everyone has their thing and this is your thing. And I would definitely plus one to what Sharon said. If someone says to me, um, you know, I don't know if I can do this, that's much more difficult for me as a manager than when they say, I can't do more than one Zoom meeting a week. Or a team member saying, I am highly anxious. If we have a team meeting, can you tell me the agenda three days ahead of time so I know what we're going to talk about and be prepared? Yeah. And then when I go and do that, I see that they are prepared and engaged and are able to perform a lot better, which reinforces to me that I need to keep doing that. So they were very clear on what they needed. I tried it out. It worked well. And then all my team members have like, you know, an equitable way of sharing and engaging in, in that meeting. So definitely plus one that if you do know what adjustments or flexibility you need, no problem. You don't have to over explain if you don't feel comfortable and health is health and you should never mm. feel guilty for that. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, great. Thanks, Tara. That was fantastic advice, both of you.